All right, Captain Mike's here with you again. This time we are going to make uh, gel candles. Uh, gel candles and gel wax uh, is a type of wax that you're going to use in container candles. And as I showed you in one of my earlier videos when I compared the different types of waxes, uh, I showed you this and uh, having a clue how it's made, but I did come across an idea today as I cut, was cutting off a chunk of this to use in this video that it's awfully reminiscent of uh, ballistic gel. It would be interesting to know if it's the same stuff. Uh, any of you all out there that have any idea about what how ballistic gel is made or wax gel is made or gel wax is made, uh, let me know. Give me a give me an answer in the comments. I'd like to know because it's it, it's some tough stuff. It's hard to cut. Uh, so anyway, we're going to uh, take this and we're going to put it in the microwave. And while we're doing that, we're going to put some uh, wicks in these glasses. But what you will need. Let me start off. Let me back up just a tad. You'll need the wax. You'll need a container to melt it in. I'm going to use Pyrex because this stuff gets pretty hot. You're going to need a glue gun for your wicks. The way I do it. You're going to need some popsicle sticks and some clothes pins. It's the way I hold the wick straight. Probably a swivel stick. My super secret wick applicator that uh, I'll be glad to patent it and sell it to all y'all for $19.95 each. And I'll give you a free one when I send it. Plus shipping. And you're going to need some uh, colorant to do the different things that I'm going to do. Now I'm not going to fragrant, put any fragrance in this whatsoever because I'm going for some really transparent candles here because uh, they're going to all replicate kind of drinks, okay? I've got these different glasses and so I'm not going to put any fragrance because sometimes fragrance will cloud it, but it doesn't matter. This video is just to show you what we can do. So I'm going to put this in the microwave and then we will go ahead and do these. And this is a real quick thing here. Y'all seen me use this before. If you saw my uh, uh, basic candle tutorial, uh, you take this little job right here, you put the wick in it, just like that. Okay, let me get over here where I can, where I can manipulate this stuff at the center of the camera angle. Okay, and then you'll, get, you'll take your, your little glue gun and you'll put a little glue on it if your glue gun doesn't stop up and it decides to work, you will put some glue on it. Doesn't take much. And you just put it in here like this, stick it down like that until it holds it a second. Boom, it comes right out. We'll do the same thing on this glass right here. is the margarita and what we're going to do here is we're going to pour a portion of this wax from one Pyrex dish into another okay and I hope that's enough well we'll pour a little bit more it won't hurt probably gonna to have to zap some more wax anyhow we'll get to that in just a minute now we will take some Light lime green. This is the first time I've done this, so we're going to kind of be, all of us are going to be learning, okay? So we'll take our swivel stick and we'll see if it's indeed going to mix. This may not mix. It's not. This is not mixing. How about that? We may have to go back to square one. It must be, well, that color may be for something else. It may be alcohol based. Uh, let me stir it up real good here. We'll try something else. Hold on. We'll see if this works any better. I haven't a clue. We'll probably have to throw the whole thing out. But we'll see. All we want it to do is turn yellow. Nope, that's not going to do it either. Ah, but I am not to be defeated. We're all learning here. And I have my old standby. Now these waxes here uh, that I, I mean, excuse me, these colors I had here were probably <laughs> more uh, 
aimed at putting in uh, in uh, soap than anything else. So let's see what I've got in this candle. Now I know this is for candles because I've had it for a long time. And I've got the closest that I'm going to have to to what I need here is some sea green. Let's see if I haven't screwed this up too bad, okay? We'll drop this in there, a couple of pieces, and we'll start stirring it up. Oh, well, that's going to work. That's going to work. It might not be as clear as I wanted it. Nope, it's not. It's too way too dark, but hey. Uh, you guys can bear with me on this. And... Uh, I'm probably going to have to heat this over again. I've done about let it sit and get too, uh, I've let it get too, too mucky-yucky. Okay, the microwave just about finished cooking this, uh, um, wax. And we've got everything else prepared here, more or less. So, we're fixing to pour our margarita complete with wax lime. So let's get the stuff out. It is hot, hot, hot. We're not going to waste any time. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get the wick out and pour this stuff in. Okay. Take our stick, popsicle stick. And put it right there. Complete with that. Center it up. Okay, we're going to finish up uh, this little video on uh, fun with gel wax. And, of course, the theme I used was uh, making candles that resembled uh, mixed drinks or wine. And um, I will uh, show you the, each one of these, and then I will just kind of recap what I have discovered. And uh, we'll call it a day. The first one that we did was the margarita, okay? And it, you know, it came out pretty good. Uh, got a little air bubbles in it, uh, but uh, that's fine for margaritas too. And the little lime is a little slice of lime. I just kind of did that out of a chunk of wax and made it right quick uh, just to kind of make it work out. Uh, and the next one that I did was a, uh, uh, let's say, pink champagne. Let's see if I can do this and it, it'll look okay. It works good. I don't know whether you can see the bubbles in that or not. And that was an attempt to get the bubbles in it. And uh, worked out pretty good. Bubbles were a little small, but, you know, it worked out. And uh, I got the bubbles in it by beating it as it cooled. And just before it cooled enough to... Uh, before it solidified, but it was still poor, the bubbles would quit rising. And of course, this one I call bourbon and branch. And uh, as you can see, I made an attempt at uh, putting ice cubes in it. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see if that one, if you can see. I don't know whether it'll show up. You might can see the ice cubes through it that way just fine. But uh, it was kind of, it was kind of fun. Uh, and I did that one by uh, um, just freezing, not freezing, excuse me, by putting uh, just perf just clear uh, gel wax in a little ice cube tray and then popping them out and then dropping them in there. I did put them in the refrigerator so they would be colder than the hot wax and it wouldn't melt quite so fast and it seemed to have done okay. But that's my bourbon and branch. Now the color I got on this one was simply by, I didn't have any brown or amber, so I mixed a little bit of uh, orange candle wax and just a touch of blue. Worked out pretty good, worked out pretty good. 
Uh, for this one, I just used some green and uh, kind of kept it in a very light shade. Maybe it could have been a little lighter. Didn't have any yellow, or we'd have used yellow in it. Uh, and the last one that I have here is uh, my uh, Green Fairy. And uh, had a hard time getting it opaque. Uh, in case uh, those of you who know what a Green Fairy is, uh, it, uh, it worked out a little better than I thought it would, considering it was a, totally sh a total shot in the dark. Uh, but it proved one thing. It proved that you can mix other waxes with gel wax. I had to mix paraffin wax. In this case, I scraped, I took my uh, old dependable standby potato peeler and I shaved some paraffin pillar, uh, taper candles I had that were white. And I just kind of added them in that as I uh, saw fit and stirred and stirred. Tried to get the swirl, but it didn't happen. But it did go opaque. Uh, but you can mix it. It's still kind of, kind of funky. Not as funky as this. This here, you know, really pushes. But it, you can mix the waxes. That's that's the first thing. The uh, you know, this is what we started with, folks. You know, just just fun, funny, jelloy, ballistic gel stuff, and. Uh, that's what I ended up with. Now, in closing, I got a couple of pieces of information I will impart to you. I did this in the microwave. I would suggest you use a double boiler. This stuff gets hot. The Pyrex uh, container that I used to melt this stuff in got so hot you had to have a glove to pick it up, and a good glove too. Uh, so that means the Pyrex was getting awful hot, possibility that it would bust. Use a double boiler to do this stuff in. Now don't worry about putting it from the double boiler into something else to mix colors. The one saving grace that this stuff has is that it comes out of containers very easily, very easily. You can just kind of pull it, in fact. You can see it just pulls right, right out, just like that. It cleans out without any problem whatsoever. Then you can take a, a a rag and you can clean it out and then wash it with soap and water and it'll be just like it was. It will not ruin, in, ruin anything. Uh, that's the good part about it, along with another good part being that you can make some really arty things with this. It's a lot of fun to fool with, but the only downside that I know of is, well, one of two downsides. The one downside for sure is it gathers dust. As pretty as these are, if they sit long in your house, the dust is gonna gather on the top and they're not gonna be shiny anymore. You can't get it off as far as I know. The more you wipe, the worse it gets. So what you do with them to store them, if you wanted to store them for visual effect, you're gonna to have to figure that out for yourself. Uh, I think they're just kind of a one-time give it to somebody that looks great, light it, and move on. They color well with this kind of uh, uh, candle wax. Uh, uh, color it, it works absolutely great, blends well. And fragrance is a little tricky. So I didn't put any fragrance in any of these, but you'll have to play with fragrance. And I haven't burnt these. I will burn them just to see what they do. But I have found that they want to soot a little bit and sometimes, depending on what you put in them, it inhibits the burn. The wicks I used in these candles was HTP 104, and I got those from Kentucky Candle, which is no longer in business, but I will put a website that bought them out uh, down in the, in, in, this, in the annotations in this. If you, there's a lot of people that do it. I, I just give you something to go by. I don't get anything from any of these people. Uh, but that's a starting point. I'll, I'll put that website up there. You can go there, then you can go to others, and you can pick out an appropriate wick to use. Uh, all these candles come from either the Dollar Tree or from uh, one of the, uh, um, like Goodwill or something. I think my wife paid 37 cents a piece for these. I paid a dollar for these two. This one I think was 79 cents at Goodwill. 
Okay, that's my tutorial. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, that uh, you will uh, um, see what you can do with this stuff. So, thank you for watching.